What's up? Welcome back to Dollar or Less Food, the channel where we eat food that costs less than a dollar, or make food that costs less than a dollar, or at this point, let's be honest, dollar, 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 who cares? But we get the point. Today, we're eating another one of the pasta roni fam families. We had one of these a couple weeks ago, but we got another one of them today because I bought more than once. We got the fettuccine alfredo pasta roni. Similar to the white shells and cheddar, we got it for a whopping 88 cents. So, that's a good deal, because as I mentioned before, some of the pasta runs cost a dollar, some cost 88 cents, some cost 82 cents. It all depends on where you go, when you go, and how it deals. I got this particular box at the Walmart, because why not? Walmart is awesome. Uh, <coughs> as you can hear, I'm still a little sick. Because of this, I was thinking of it. I had another idea coming on later, which you guys don't see yet. What is this? I already pre-cooked the food. Similarly to how you cook pox cerrone, the instructions are on the box. This is what you get from one box of it. The only difference that between the white shell and cheddar is you cook this for only five minutes compared to 12 with that one. So save some time, have a little less pasta. So let's get a good review of it. I literally just made it up. And one thing I can say, with this bowl that I've been using over and over for the videos, on the side, it's starting to wear, and also inside, there are parts where the paint, or like whatever this plastic has been chipping, so I might be switching to a new bowl soon for new videos. If you prefer a color for a bowl, or just have a good idea of where I can get a cheap bowl, leave it in the comments below. And a special shout out to you guys for finally, again, trying to get some comments on videos. I really appreciate your comments since I've been a little under the weather the last week. I don't know what happened. It's just been, I'm never sick, but then sometimes all of a sudden it's just, you're down for a while. Hasn't been keeping me from work or anything, but it's just helped me get a little low energy at the end of the day. I also found out I was severely dehydrated one day, so that was fun. So it's really not good. So especially because even though it's fall now, for most of us, the living areas where it's hot year round, Yes, winter is still hot in the south, don't lie. Remember, water, hydration, don't get heat stroke if you're working outside. Take that little extra break. I know a boss man might be like, you gotta keep working, keep working on that job, get that house up, or something like that, or keep, keep making those bricks. Whatever you're doing, if you need a break for water, it's better to do that than pass out from a heat stroke, because it's not fun. Oh great, Street Skater 3D2 has stopped working on my phone. I know it comes to just drag on, but I just want to make sure you guys stay safe out. I don't care. First day of fall, white girls, pumpkin spice latte. I ain't one of those people. I don't eat lattes. I don't. The best part of a pumpkin this is going to be kind of weird for you guys to hear this, but let's all be honest. The best part of a pumpkin is just sticking your hand in and just grabbing out the guts. Because you get the seeds, or you just spit them seeds. And also, with the gooeyness feels kind of cool too. So, if you're getting ready for pumpkin carving season already, yeah, what's wrong with America? Let's just take a bite of this food because I've been dragging on for a while. One thing I will say is it sticks together a lot more. I was a little low on milk, so there's a little less milk in this than there usually should be. But, mmm. It's creamy, delicious. The only downside is as I cooked it kind of with less water, there's also room for the new so they're kind of stuck together a lot of them. Yep, that one hit the floor. Oh, I just got a random text message from someone else saying, this is Jordan, so that's good. Yeah, but uh, noodles are amazing. Taste is amazing. It's perfectly creamy. This is just as good, if not better, than a fettuccine alfredo you get out in a restaurant. I mean, let's all be honest, Carabas fettuccine alfredo, not really that good. This is really good. I mean, of all the pastas and just in general foods I've ate this channel before, this, I think, is the best. Hmm. 10 out of 10 would eat again. And I'm not, I mean, the noodles are cooked perfectly. There's a perfect amount of seasoning to noodle, to creaminess with the sauce, with, because it doesn't make a really true sauce, like an Alfredo sauce, but there's just enough of it. Even the Alfredo sauce itself is better than a ragu or a, I think it's Bertoli, is it's called? Ber Ber Bertoli, it's the Italian -y one. This is better than that. I mean, honestly, you want to have a big fancy dinner with people, 
go cut three, four boxes of this, grab some chicken, cut it up, have a good big chicken Alfredo. Why buy that big old thing at Sam's Club if, you, if you're one of those people that has a Sam's Club membership? You can buy a big old tray for that for 10 bucks. Or just get a chicken, get a couple boxes. It'll, be, it'll actually be a little bit cheaper, and you'll get more food in the long run than just those things. Although they're good too if you have the, the ability to buy some bulk. Also, something other I was doing. One thing that's really good with this, I made some Creole shrimp to go along with. Usually I just eat everything by itself, but today I was like, you know what? I want something else with my meal too. And this is something that's just pasta, kind of boring. I want to tell you how I make my favorite little Creole shrimp. So what I do, I'm just going to... First thing I can say is take the shells off when you're cooking them. I just wanted to keep them on for effect for video purposes. And just throw them all in a bowl. So it makes me realize how much I'm actually eating. So what I like to do. Take a bag of frozen shrimp. Make sure you get the ones that have already been cooked. So you don't have to worry about, oh, well, I got to eat raw shrimp. Preferably get the ones that still have the tails on them. Don't get them detailed, but make sure they've been deveined and cooked. Defrost them. <coughs> they put them <coughs> take the bag out. Run it under some water so they're not like frozen and stuffed together. Take a pan. Throw in some butter. I don't know what to say. A tablespoon and a half. And some olive oil. Just a little, a couple of two spinnies around. And just a standard pan, like a frying pan. Throw your shrimp in. Now maybe a tablespoon of Old Bay, tablespoon of Tony Sachery's, get some lemon juice, put it on top there, a little bit of garlic powder too, and then you get, voila, these shrimp. One thing I will say is for some of these people who do not like spicy -ish food, this isn't super spicy, so if you're just one of those people that have been growing up, I've grown up with Cajun Creole cooking my whole life, you won't find this spicy, but if you're just someone who's like, I mean not to offend people because I'm not really well traveled, but I just feel a lot of people from like the Minnesota, Wisconsin area don't eat spicy foods as often. So you guys might find them spicy. I find just fine. And go along with it. And good old Mountain Dew. Because let's be honest, Mountain Dew makes the world go round. So just take some pasta, take some shrimp, have yourself a feast. Do what you want. Star West food. 88 cent pasta only fettuccine Alfredo. By far 10 out of 10. Must eat again. Can't say how much you gotta eat. Go to Walmart, get yourself five boxes of this. You'll be set for a week. Five days, but <coughs> work week. Other than that, I'll be out for next time. Got any more recommendations or anything else? I do have a idea of eating some beef in a video. So I would prefer beef burgers or just ground beef. Let me know in the comments below or above. I don't really care where you put it. Also, you can always email me at one dollar or less food at gmail.com. Appreciate it to get maybe 20 email. I don't really care that much on for them. And if you're still chilling at this point of the video, I just gotta say I'm super proud of you guys watching the whole thing. I realized I hit 200 views all time in my videos today, so I'm really excited. And thanks for joining me on this journey.